Morning. This is Arnie Waters uh, here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts, 781-380-8888. Uh, we're going to be doing what Jack Webb used to call, uh, Detective Sergeant Joe Friday used to call, just the facts, ma'am, just the facts. So we're going to be talking about facts today. Gold will be $2,000 before the end of the year. We think that's a conservative estimate. What we've been doing the last couple of days, and we're going to continue for probably a week or 10 days, is telling you in detail why the current situation is going to get worse. Now, the current situation getting worse doesn't mean you shouldn't own high-yield instruments, which are one of our specialties. It doesn't mean you shouldn't own gold. But you need to be aware that everything that's impacted by a decrease in spending is going to have a very hard time. When I say a decrease in spending, I mean that people are already reining in and have cut back excellently on their credit card use and credit card payments. This has a negative effect, however, on the economy because our economy is built on consumption. And <clears throat> the reason that people have pulled back is that there has been a terrible negative effect or loss of personal wealth over the last three years. This is a fact. First of all, 25% of all homeowners are now underwater. Another 25% have less than 20% equity in their homes. So that's 50% of homeowners either have negative equity or have less than 20% equity. There's also a lack of housing demand. And this lack of housing demand due to overbuilding in certain areas and abandonment and foreclosures in others will have a negative effect on housing demand for the foreseeable future. And by that, I mean the next probably three to eight years. Uh, if you're looking for a home, particularly of, the, of whatever stripe, there are deals abounding. And so why should you go build a brand new house? That's the bottom line. And you can see the obvious impact, not only on developers, but also on the affiliated or allied construction trades. The stock losses have had a remarkably deleterious effect. People's 401ks and pension plans not only have been bad, but are going down the, going downhill fast. Um, you know, and, and the impact of the combination of losing money in the retirement account as well as possible job loss is absolutely devastating. So therefore, real disposable incomes taken as a whole are not likely to increase more than 2% in 2012. And what that means is we're going to be stuck, and I repeat one of my earlier commentaries, this has to do with um, <clears throat> the jobs program. Even if Obama gets the jobs program in some watered-down form, it is our view that it is impossible to implement that plan much before 2013. Um, and we saw a great example of this in the mortgage forgiveness program that uh, was rolled out about 18 months ago and has zero, I repeat, zero recipients. So this is Arnie Waters trying to give you just the facts. So I want you to understand how we get to some of the viewpoints that we have and how we're so sanguine about gold and less than optimistic about the rest of the market. Part of what we're seeing, and we'll talk a little bit more about this uh, on Monday or Tuesday, <clears throat> the, the chief economist, excuse me, the chief global strategist of, I hate to say this, Secretary General, Sok Jen, has been remarkably thoughtful about interest rates. He is one of the very few people who, about two years ago, projected that U.S. interest rates would fall to 1.5%. He's got some very interesting views of the S&P and the Dow performance going forward a couple of years. So we'll share some of those thoughts with you. Go home flat. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water, and keep swinging. Have a great day.